Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Week 5 Operation Football. District play begins, and we start, as we always do, with our monster matchup. Top team in Class B, Bennington trying to keep their winning streak alive on the road at Elkhorn. KETV News Watch 7's Matt Foster has the monster matchup story from Elkhorn. Come rain or shine, it's becoming a consistent theme on Friday nights in Class B, where Bennington walks off the field as winners. The Badgers taking their 30-game win streak into Elkhorn on Friday night, and this wasn't the first rodeo between the Badgers and the Antlers. Opening drive for Bennington, and it's time to enter Sandman. Off play action, Peyton Sandman hits a wide open Hudson Newverth. As easy as you like, 7-0 Badgers after the first. In the second quarter, second drive of the game for Bennington. This time, Sandman going to hook up with Elliot Anderson, who just gets a foot in bounds, and that'll count in high school for six, 14-0 Bennington. Final minutes of the second quarter, the Badger defense gets in on the action. Kyler Laridson, great wrestler, good football player too. I believe they'll call this one a reversal. A 60-yard house call for number two to put the Badgers up 21-0 at the break. After halftime, the Antlers start to show some life. Cade Matthews dropping back and throwing up a jump ball to Charlie Lamsky, who mosses the defender. The big man makes it a 21-7 game. But that's as close as Elkhorn would get final minutes of the fourth quarter. The end around to KJ Taffa, and watch this. The exclamation point on the touchdown. Badgers go on to win it. 28 to 7. We, we have fun at practice. We have fun all the time. We, we all lift each other up, no bring each other down. We're, we're just a tight group. Defensively, uh, like I said, they're going to stay hungry and they're going to they're gonna do what they need to do. It's just week in and week out. we got to rise uh, and show up that we're the best team on, on Friday night. With the win, Bennington improves to 5-0 and this season, and their win streak grows to 31 games, just seven away from tying the Class B record. Reporting at Elkhorn High School, Matt Foster, KETV News Watch 7 Sports. Thank you, Matt. Westview, back at home, taking on Alcorn North. Wolves quarterback Johnny Ferguson calling his own number. Touchdown. Four yards out. 21-0 Wolves in the second quarter. Then it's Ethan Beachy to Tommy Mechna, 46 yards. Alcorn North goes on to win big 42-0. Wolves 5-0. Over to Moylan, Scott hosting Buena Vista. First Skyhawk drive. <clears throat> Colin Pike going 20 yards on touch for the score, 7-0 Scut. And then it's Anthony Heitoff getting the fullback dive, getting in for the six-yard score. Skyhawks dominant, Colin Pike again. Scut wins big, 76-0. Gross Catholic on the road at Ralston. The Rams score just before half and then take the lead in the third quarter. Elijah Burton going deep, finding Connor Brown for the touchdown as the Rams take a 14-7 lead. But the Cougars come back late in this one. This is a Nate Picar nice run here. Gross comes back to win this one, 15-14. All right, Class A, second-ranked Millard South pounded Lincoln North Star last night, 57-10. Pats now 5-0. Omaha North comes back to win a thriller at Omaha Central, 20-16. The Vikings now 4-1. Battle of 3-1 teams in Class A, Dragons of Gretna, Hosting Bellevue East. Gretna getting right to work. Isaiah Weber running in an eight-yard score. Dragons on the board. Then the next drive is Alex Wilcoxon floating it up to Alex Rungi. Makes the nice contested catch in bounds. Later in the first, Wilcoxon finding Michael Sheaf in the end zone. Dragons dominate. They went big 56 to nothing. Top-ranked Westside trying to stay perfect on the road at North Fork. This is Bo Ryan. The Warriors doing it with defense. And Ryan with the pick six. Defensive touchdown you're going to get on TV for that young man. Warriors lead 7-0. They go on to win big by the final of 41-0. They're now 5-0. 3-1, Millard West at undefeated is South Sioux. Millard West quarterback Brody Peterson decides to keep it himself. He scampers in for the score. Wildcats jump out to the quick early lead, and then it's Jackson Williams time. As Williams will rumble in, he'll get to the pylon. Millard West dominates 49-0. Cats now 4-1. All right, Bellevue West trying to snap a two-game slide over at Omaha South. After a safety, quarterback Daniel Kalen passed to Ben Goodwater, 9-0 T-Birds. 
Then the next drive, much of the same. C.J. Goff, the touchdown run. Bellevue West flying their way to victory. They win 70 to 7. Elkhorn South gaining momentum. The storm at Omaha Northwest. First possession, Madden Riggs will find Ethan Duda after rolling out. This goes 18 yards and the touchdown, storm rolling. Next possession, it's Riggs again on the rollout. This time I'll find Luke Hoskinson all alone, 38 yards. Elkhorn South wins big. That's three in a row for the storm. Over in Papillion, where the crown shines bright, as the sign says. Monarchs hosting Benson. Doesn't take long for the home team to strike. Travis Hines the second. Look at him go. Takes it to the house. And just like that, Papio's up a touchdown. Then it's Peyton Prestito. Peyton, by the way, spelled P-A-Y-T-O-N, like Walter. And he runs it in. This one got out of hand early. Papio goes on to win 54 0. Miller North looking for its first win of the season against Lincoln Southeast. Tied at seven in the second. Caden Vermas takes the pitch, finds an opening and scores 14-7. Next drive, it's Evan Hansen rolling out. He'll find a wide open Vermont. Second touchdown of the game, Millard North. They get their first win of the year, 49-28, the final. How about that? All right, halftime here on Operation Football. Next up, our fan favorite game, Wahoo Newman hosting UTAN. But first, to send us the break, here are the Ralston cheerleaders. 